Hello everybody, this channel is all about investing and trading. I want to create financial freedom for people. Uh, so I'm, um, I've been in the business for quite a long time, since my college years, and uh, I'm still in my early 20s, but, but I have uh, lots of experience. And one thing I noticed is that when you go online or you, want, or you try to invest on your own, the first step is really hard because, um, yes, there is, uh, there is free information available, like you can go on any uh, newspaper online, on any website. But if you want someone that guides you all the way through, that teach you all the steps, uh, you will have to pay quite some, some money. Uh, so since I love this topic, since uh, all my career uh, has been involved in investment and trading in particular, um, I wanna go ahead and open up this, this channel where I'm gonna guide people in understanding the investment uh, world and how to ach achieve uh, financial freedom uh, which is my main goal so the first topic for this uh, um, youtube channel uh, which is called trade with ricky so it's a difference between investing and trading so i'm gonna start with this chart this chart uh, represents the sp500 uh, since the first since the concept until today um, and it, and, uh, and as, as you can see, it has been going up steadily throughout the years. So the main point I want you guys to take is that if you start investing early, let's say that you just get out from college, you have a college degree, you get your first job and you make some money, I want, I want you guys to understand how important it is to invest the first paycheck, even just the first paycheck from there on because in an average the sp500 has been uh, gaining eight to ten percent a year um so as you can see it's been going up throughout the years um right now we are we are at the top ever and uh, also it has also declined quite a few times throughout the years uh, the biggest decline was a uh, uh, during the Great Depression, as you can see, as you can see how wide is the gray, how wide is the gray uh, bar in the chart. This one over right here that I'm pointing with the mouse. Every single gray bar, so one, two, three, four, and so on until the Great Recession, those represent the major recession in the U.S. Uh, uh, stock market. As you can see. Um, as you can see, we are in a bull market, mostly 7 to 10 years. Bull market is when the market goes up steadily. Uh, so right now we've been in a bull market since 2008, so since uh, the end of the Great uh, Recession. Uh, and the bear market, which is the opposite, usually lasts about one year. Um, as you can see though, the Great Recession can, in just one year, can wipe a big percentage of your account, of your portfolio. For example, in 2007, during the Great Recession, people lost 50% in the stock market during that year, as you can see by the big drop. And it took us 10 years to recover and to reach a new high, which was previously achieved at the early 2000s, this, this line over here represents uh, the technology boom, so all the new internet era where people start in, in where people really get involved in trading uh, those technological stocks, like all those Amazon, Google. That's why the um, that's why the stocks went up this much. Like if you if you take a look close, uh, if you take a close look. It basically it goes up all the way steadily without a single bump just small bump here and there but like it's a really nice straight line up but then of course with the 9-11 terrorist attack and all of that we start having some sign of a correction and recession with the Iraq with the, the war in Iraq and all of that 
And then in 2007, of course, as many of you guys know, and if you, and if you guys don't know, I will dedicate a different video uh, on this topic, which is the Great Recession, also about uh, CDO and the mortgage and the subprime mortgage lending that created uh, this panic and this steep decline in uh, our in our economy but as you can see every time there is a big uh, bear um, sorry every time there is a recession which corresponds in a bear market it takes us quite uh, quite a long time to recover and uh, to reach a new high that's why bear market usually lasts one year and bull market usually lasts 10 years because the main psychological principle behind the market is that when there is panic and when people start to sell, 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 other people immediately respond to that. That's why when people sell, the chain reaction is much, much more effective than when people start to buy because people react faster to panic than uh, uh, satisfaction from the uh, investments. So this is something to take in mind. Um, so we, we got the great, the great Depression over here, Great Recession. This quite a long, uh, this quite, quite a long decline that goes from the early 1970 to the early 1980s, so about 10 years. This was all about the oil crisis. So the OPEC and um, if OPEC and oil crisis, uh, they last about 10 years. And in fact, and in fact, it took us a uh, quite a long time to recover all of that. But let's assume that you are a new you are a new investors, right? You get off from you know, you are new investors. You invest, um, there is a recession, so let's take a look at the 2007 recession. If you study the market, and if you know how to read a chart, and if you know, uh, if you do some research, some historical research in the market, you kind of want to know that usually a recession doesn't last that long. Because when happens, when there's a recession, the government is going to try to stimulate the economy. So it's gonna try to lower the interest as much as possible to simulate the economy and to lower the unemployment. So it's easy to understand is that after recession, that's a nice opportunity to get in and to buy and for a long term. So I know many people, they always want to make money, but sometimes even when you lose money because of a recession, that's an indication that there are going to be future opportunities in the market that you can take advantage of. So that's why many people are, are saying that uh, the next recession, which if you look at, if you look closer at the chart and if you look at economic indicators and all of that in the current economic situation, uh, not only in the US, but globally, you can assume that something's gonna happen even uh, next year. Uh, we will we will talk about this prediction later on in a different video. But the main point of this chart is that the stock market always creates opportunities for you guys to invest to make money, even when there's a recession. Actually, that's the best point when you want to buy because, as you guys know, you have to buy low and sell high. So. Uh, hopefully you guys understand that you can make lots of money investing in the stock market you don't have to be afraid history teaches us that the stock market the stocks the index um, sp500 which is the main indicator for the our economy uh, is averaging about 8 to 10 percent yearly gain and that, and that and that includes also the recession the great depression the oil crisis and all of that Imagine if you just put $1,000 when you're 20 and you average 10% every single year. Consider the compound interest effect, which is one of the main topics of investing that you guys need to understand and that I will explain I will explain later on. You can really, when you retire, you, you can make 10 times that money, 100 times that money, it depends on market conditions. So, 
Never be afraid in investing. The stock market, market exists for people to become wealthier, not for people to lose money. If you know how, if you know how to, uh, let's play. If you let's say, if you know how to play the game, even though it's not a game. So let's move on. That's just a basic overview of our topic: equities te uh, techniques in trading. Um, so base, uh, the main idea about investing is that uh, a person uses its own capital uh, to in order to generate extra revenue in the future. So let's say, for example, it doesn't have to be just um, the stocks. You can uh, buy a house today. Um, you think you have a good deal with the house. It's a good uh, price for you to buy. And then you buy, that's an investment. That's a real statement investment. You buy the house, and after twenty years, you want to sell the house, and you make and you, you during that time you gain some equity in the house, and you make a profit. So that's the main idea. Investing is that you buy now, and you sell later on, and you make uh, a profit. Um, also, important um, um, important aspect is that. Investment decision depends um, on many um, aspects of each person because a 20 years old, 30 years old, a 40 years old uh, individual has a different investment goal than someone that, that is 60 and is about to retire. Someone that's in their 20s may apply a more aggressive strategy than someone who is 60 who is about to retire and doesn't want his own account to be wiped out. <clears throat> So investing doesn't require prior experience, as we know, but you know it, it, it does require some knowledge, and you need to know how and when to invest. And hopefully, throughout my videos and this channel, uh, you guys will understand when it's a good time to buy, when it's a good to, good time to sell, what to buy, and so on. Uh, and the other topic that we're gonna um, include in the, in this uh, sequence of video is trading. Trading is still investing, but it's a short-term investment. It can be done in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, or one week, one month. And it has higher risk, higher cost, and it needs really a um, strong level of risk management. Um, so the main topic of investment is that you need to know what to invest in. So uh, financial markets, uh, like any other markets, financial market is basically a place where uh, buyer, buyer and seller uh, meet a set goal and they determine the price. Like for example, when you buy a bag of chips, a package of chips at the store and you see the price, that price was determined by uh, the market. So by the level of uh, by the level of uh, buyer and seller by the competition by the implied cost so or by the labor cost fixed cost machinery cost and so on here it's uh, all about law of demand uh, law of demand the more demand there is for a stock the higher the price will go and, and um so historically, the major U.S. index, S&P 500, Nasdaq, and Dow Jones have achieved that 8 and 10 percent yearly gain, uh, which you guys saw on the chart I just posted. In the financial markets, the sellers are the owners of the stock. Example: Apple. Buyer um, buyers apply their own knowledge and intuition to decide either to buy or not a stock at a given price. Mm, the last two points are really important. That you guys should have at least a grasp. Uh, I don't want you guys to be economist because it takes time, but you guys need to um, follow the news, especially when there are major releases, like uh, when, for example, this uh, Wednesday, the Fed is going to meet up and probably they're going to raise the interest rates. So when there is a central bank, Fed in the US or BCE, Central Bank of Europe in Europe, they have a meeting, uh, they a meeting uh, the markets can react really fast to their decision. If it if they see if the Fed is going to increase the interest rates, for example, you're gonna see a reaction from the market. Um, usually and historically when the interest rates start to increase, investors start to sell their assets because they fear a reversal of the trend. So basically when uh, in, 
so basically when the, the the central bank the federal the federal uh, the fed uh, raise the interest rates uh, investors feel like the economy is uh, moving toward uh, a, a correction because interest rate in order to in order to raise interest interest rate you want to uh, lower down the inflation as we know inflation is the change in price and you want to keep inflation low so when inflation is high you want to lower which means that the price uh, the living condition the lifestyle of people and in general is increasing and when it's increasing the fed um, use interest rates to control inflation which means that uh, higher inflation you need to raise interest rates when when uh, you raise interest rates the market is gonna um, have a, a steep decline or some sort of decline that's a, a reaction so it's always important to pay attention to the news uh, equities and other markets uh, usually when we watch the news or investment platform like Bloomberg or CNBC we're exposed to stocks which make up the equity market a stock is the share of ownership of a company essentially when you buy a stock example one of the shares of Apple you own that amount of company other markets are future where you buy a contract that expires at a specific date in this market usually you can buy and sell commodities for example sugar corn silver gold or oil and also now Bitcoin uh, Forex market is when you trade um, uh, currency and it's uh, the most liquid market and most trading market open 24 hours for five and um, so we also have options and cryptocurrency uh, which has been in the news quite uh, a lot uh, recently okay what to buy when to buy when to sell do your research it's really important that uh, you do your own research you need to know where to go Find a sector that, that has performed well during the bull market. So basically, it all starts on, um, you need to analyze each sector of the economy. So financial sector, energy sector, technological sector, and so on. You see which sector is performing the best. Once you do that, you want to go through the stocks that belong to the sector and try to find 10 to 50 or even 100 stocks that are performing the best um, and you then of course you're gonna read their fundamentals so you're gonna go on the sec.gov and find the company uh, look for the financial statement endings future product and goals and so on um, then uh, have a grip of fundamental analysis earning per share price a uh, pe beta market cap i will explain this in more detail later on uh, and then have a good knowledge of the current economy as I said before, it's important to pay attention to the news, rate, uh, rates, and employment. And also, I'm going to go back to the main to, uh, to this point of here. Diversify your portfolio. Diversify your portfolio means that you want to buy stocks that belong to different sector, because this lowers the risk of uh, um, on your account of being uh, uh, wired up. So, for example, you want to buy Apple, you want to buy Nvidia, healthcare energy, financial stock, and so on. Because let's say that you want to um, invest tomorrow and you decide to invest all your money in one single stock, Apple, and that stock goes, up, goes down 10%, you lose 10%. If instead you want to diversify your portfolio and you invest in Apple, you invest in oil, for example, Apple goes down 10%, oil goes up 5%, you still lose money but you only lose five percent that's the logic why it's so important to diversify your portfolio and then let's move on on trading uh, trading involves more risk and more stress than investing uh, more stress because you actively because investing it's um, invest, investing passive investment since it can take a long time you usually pay less attention than we do on training on trading trading you active, actively um, watch the financial markets the stocks the all the charts the news all of that so that's why more it's more stressful because you're trying to find the perfect setup to enter to buy a stock or other type of uh, financial asset 
Um, traders uh, uh, look to profit in a short period of time. They can profit on a bull market and bear market if they don't know what they're doing. Um, this is uh, an important point because many people ask me, is, I, uh, is, it, uh, is there a way to make money when the economy goes down, when there is a recession? Because, uh, I mean, people have seen the movie Big Shark, for example. And what I say is that if you know what, you, what you're doing, you can make money when there is a recession. And I will introduce the concept of uh, short selling in the next few videos, which is basically the opposite of buying, uh, meaning um, in, I'm just going to explain this in, in briefly. You, you, um, when you short sell, you want the stock to go down. So basically, if you buy a stock, um, first of all, you need a margin account, not a cash account. And I will explain the difference between margin and cash uh, and then probably in the next video when I will start doing some example of investing. Um, so you need to have a margin account. You do not, you basically, you uh, ask the broker uh, to lend you some share of a stock. So you have uh, 100 shares of X stock at $10. When you short sell, you make a profit when this stock goes down. So let's say for example, it goes down to $8 you then buy the stock and you make a profit. That's uh, when it's eight and then you make a profit. Uh, traders make a uh, decision based on fundamental and technical analysis. In my opinion, investment, long-term investment, um, utilize more fundamental analysis because basically you want to analyze the earnings, uh, you want to analyze the earnings per share and the financial statement of a company. Trading since, um, it can be done so quickly, and since there is lots of speculation, you use more of technical analysis, which is um, uh, which is a series of uh, calculation, statistic calculation, that uh, uh, tend to occur many times throughout uh, the day. For example, one of the most uh, used uh, technique is the moving average. In this uh, example, I'm uh, using a 50 day, a 50 days um, a moving average. Basically, the computer is going to analyze for you uh, the average price of the 50 days prior to today of the stock. And if the price of the stock is um, higher than the previous 50 average of the 50 days before, then that's a good buy on poor 20. If it's opposite of this, you want to sell. That's one of, of the main techniques of technical analysis. And of course, technical analysis teaches you how to uh, read the chart, follow the trend. Um, and it's also an important tool to know when you want to set stop losses. So risk management is the key. Because in trading, uh, since um, it is more risky than investing, you want to cut your losses quickly. Uh, avoid big trades, they can wipe your account if it, they go against you, know where to set stop losses. And technical analysis is really important for you to understand in order to improve your risk management. You never want to trade really big because one single trade can really kill your, can really kill your account when you trade. Since, especially when you're new, you want to have as many opportunities as you can when you trade. So you can lose a uh, few few amounts in there, but never lose big, because if you you, you can lose three times, uh, for example, 10, 10 bucks each three time, but then the fourth time you win a trade and you make fifty bucks, you still have twenty dollar. Just an example to that's an example of risk management. Uh, risk like anything in life, investment can have a major risk if you don't know what you're doing. Major point: to avoid the big mistakes. Know which direction the economy is going. Are things getting too expensive? Are price going up? What is the oil price currently? What is the employment rate and um, an employment rate and so on? Analyze each sector and read carefully the news about the company you're investing or the assets you're investing in. If you don't like what the company is doing, do not invest in it. Investing is like a piece of art. I can give you all the tools to make a paint, but then it's your talent that can make a simple paint a real piece of art. So what this uh, slide uh, wants to tell you is that you need always to, 
to keep updated with the major economic news and release. Um, interest rates, unemployment rates, uh, price of oil, those are really important uh, things to know when you invest because that's what drives the market. That's what drives the market. Uh, and also, if you, like, if you see that everything is getting too expensive, mortgage rents, mortgage price, rents, uh, oil price, uh, interest rates are going up, then you can have a feeling that then then you can have a feeling that uh, uh, something's going to happen unemployment i put an employment rate but unemployment rate is not is not an in, a strong indicator as uh, the other indicators are included because unemployment you um, unemployment rate is not a cause of recession but is an effect is an effect of a recession in fact, I will put a chart later on, not in this video because it's getting too long, it's already 25, 25 minutes. Usually, unemployment goes up after there is a recession or when there is a peak in the recession. But before the recession, unemployment is really low. So, unemployment is not a cause and effect. But the reason why I put uh, uh, unemployment here is because when there is when the unemployment rate is really low everybody is happy right but this can be also an indicator that when it's too low something is going to happen especially if you see an increase in interest rates and increase in oil and if you take a look at today's economy in the us for example all of i said so far everything i said so far so price of oil rent mortgage interest rates Everything is going up. Um, the oil oil was going up. Uh, it, it reached seven dollar a barrel. But then uh, Trump forced basically every every supplier to supply more oil. So now Saudi Arabia started to pump more oil, and the price of oil has been going down again. But interest rates are going up, and employment rate now is really really low. And this can be an indication that the future outlook is not as bright as it seems. Hopefully, uh, I'm, I'm mistaken, but we'll see. But it's, history repeats in itself. Those indicators are really important when you make uh, an investment decision. How and when to invest? Basic principle is to buy when it's low, sell when it's high. We've been a strategy dominant bull market for 10 years now. Usually, bull market lasts seven years before a correction or recession. We live in a globalized world, so outside news are as important as our own news. News in Europe or in Japan can affect our economy as well. Take, for example, uh, Brexit 2015 or the uh, same uh, summer session China when uh, the Shanghai index declined 10% in a month. Now, the US market was heavily affected by that. Not the trend with the charts, it's re history repeats itself. Sometimes you can simply invest in something that you like. If you like something, like for example, one of my f very first investments was to buy Facebook. Uh, back then I was barely in college, I was like 19. And I, I was using Facebook and I saw that everybody used Facebook. And I was like, well, that can be a nice investment. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't uh, all the until now uh, but that was that was a that was the, the very first reason why i bought an old uh, facebook i didn't know how much they were doing how much they were making if they were making profit i just uh, liked the product and invest in the product don't believe all your ear there are so many financial guy out there uh, that try to persuade you try to sell you stuff to sell you uh, stocks recommendation do your own research apply your own knowledge maybe what they're uh, telling you is true but always make the final decision based on your, on your own knowledge and then i cannot see this uh, uh, slide the, the, this last point the higher the price the biggest is the drawback oh yeah if i remember it says the higher the price the biggest is the drawback drop back uh, because the higher it goes, the higher is going to decline in percentage. 
So that's why many people, many uh, analysts, experts, and also including myself, think that next recession, since this bull market is being so strong and is still going up, the next recession can be even more um, devastating than the previous one. Um, so it's about to wrap everything up. Investment is a great tool that can lead to financial freedom. Experience is not necessary, but education is the key. Stay, um, stay aware of the major, major economic news, know your fundamental, your technical analysis. Use your own brain, know and how to invest. Risk management is the key. Set stop losses, don't trade too big. Small gains make a difference, be angry of success. So hopefully you guys liked this uh, first video for my channel. Uh, probably tomorrow I'm gonna go over more investing stuff. Maybe take a look at um, possible scenarios of interest rates hike, or maybe just uh, go more deep in investment, we'll see. Hopefully you guys will like this. Uh, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel and let's make money together.